Live day trading penny stocks on a small account. Day trading live stream every single day from 9 a.m. till noon. Day trading local small cap stocks. The hot stocks straight from the watch list every single day. So far I'm looking at stock TOCA, TOCA, there was CETX, and uh, what else was on there? NNBC. I've seen a couple stocks moving, not really that much, but ENLV also, that's a little bit higher price stock. Anyways, it's good to be back. It's good to be in my seat. It's good to be on the stock market. I'm ready to make some money. I'm trying to calm down in the stock market and trade like a machine every single day. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell partial profits. I may put in a trailing stop. I may do a whole bunch of other stuff, but... I always sell too early and that is my main mission. I am stepping up my share size today, but on Monday, sometimes I have a tendency to over trade and really not even trade that well. So I may, we'll, we'll see how it works out. Well, let's talk about my trades first, or you know, the first things first, what we have to do, the monkey army march, the monkey army march, day 26 of the monkey army march all the way up. Today is a heart check. <laughs> heart check man do i have the heart i have the heart man i got the heart i'm gonna trade my plan plan my trade and that's how i roll man that's how i get down terry morning monkey trades hit the like button if you guys please could hit the like button youtube loves it and i love it too good morning terry everybody raz chase smith steve banana good morning everybody boom 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 dh gain says uh nnvc uh cetx and apt i also have apt also on my watch list so APT looks good. So today's day 2020, day 36. That's how many market days there's been in uh, in the stock market in 2020 so far. Heart check, man. <laughs> Heart check. Good morning. There's Carl the Raw Food Trader. Good morning, Army. Today is a day that will test your mental status. I know I got this, man. I got this. Good morning. Boom, boom, boom. Brandon Harris. Good morning, everybody. It's so good to be here this morning. So, so good to be here. I I got this heart check man today is my heart check good morning bloody day it's gonna be a bloody bloody day i'm gonna be very careful i'm gonna really trade Let, let's get through all this stuff how i get through my trades i had a green day on friday plus six dollars and one cents i took six trades six winners six trades six winners so a hundred percent win rate my average winner was only six cents so that's not too good average loser zero cents Wins and losses in the total number of cents was 35 cents per share. 35 cents per share. I'm going to show you. I did do a couple testing trades in the pre-market. I'm going to show you. I can't believe, but I had to leave, so I just left my trades open for a little while. TOCA, you can see a minus 12 cents. This was actually would have been a great green trade, but I just was not patient enough, just like always. Okay, next thing I need to go through, monkey money, adding money. Save $5 each and every day. I have $25. As soon as I get to $100, I'm going to add it into my Thinkorswim account. That's what I do. Every time I get to $100, I add it so I can take bigger size, bigger money, bigger everything. Right below that, there's donate. Some of you guys have been kind enough to donate. Thank you, man. You guys know I'm not a rich man it, every single cent that comes to this live stream however it gets here stays with this live stream and i can promise you that ad revenue january through february 20 percent. i'm putting 20 percent of the ad revenue into the monkey army fund for future giveaways so far we have 42 dollars in there and who's in the monkey army fund number one our keychain holders if you want a keychain there's a link in the description number two our donates and number three our subscribers and five dollars of every keychain Chain goes directly into its side a uh, side fund. So when we sell a hundred keychains, there'll be a five hundred dollar giveaway. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Anyways, okay. So the next thing I have to do, shout you from the rooftop, shout you out loud. Everyone that has donated, I shout your name wherever I go. And seriously, seriously, thank you for finding value in my live stream. It means a lot. And and you guys are my friends. You guys hang out with me. I hang out with you. That's how we do it. And that's how I'm rolling this all the way to the top. There ain't no other live stream like this. So, something's moving over there. NNVC. NNVC is moving. Look at this one. I did take a, a pre-market trade on NNVC. Got plus 48 cents. So I got plus 24 cents per share on that. Look at this. Man, there was a good trade on here. Good, good trade. NNVC. Look at that, man. 
Good job. Good job. Okay, so any, oh, my goals. I want to do one more thing. So today I'm going to uh, try to buy 100 share. If a stock is between $1 and $2, I'm buying 100 shares. If a stock is between 2 and $3, I'm buying 60 shares. If it's between 3 and $4, I'm buying 50 shares. 4 to 10, I'm buying 40 shares. And that's what I am doing. And you guys know I have a small, small vocabulary. This is the last thing. I'm not going to be going through every single one of these things every single day. But on Mondays, I think I should clean it up, sweep up the floor, and get ready for the new week. So anyways, every, every week I try to learn a new word. And this week's word is adherence adherence i know i kind of know what this one means but i don't want to my vocabulary i've been uh, using some outrageous wor words which i'm probably never going to use in a sentence like plenitude autodidact boondoggle incessant persnickety mollify sedulous this week is adherence everybody kind of probably know it can figure that one out attachment or commitment look at nnbc if you guys trade the pre-market Adherence, attachment, or commitment to a person, cause, or belief. The quality or process of sticking fast to an object or surface. That's adherence. Adherence. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm done with that. Let, let's get back to this. Look at this thing. NNBC, it's right under the $10. If a stock is over $10, I'm not going to trade it. I'm just not. There, There's no reason. I'm not going to trade a stock that's over $10. And NVC is basically under $10, so I will trade this if I can. I will trade this. So the NNVC, what's this one? Yes, it has news. Boom. I'm watching CLDX, TOCA, COCP also is another good one. COCP, COCDX. Uh, good. Chase, uh, Chase 55, I love that list too. I love that list. APT, APT is pushing up a little bit. I have a daily support resistance line on APT at 667. It just busted through that bone. Okay, I, I, I have to go through this. I don't trade the pre-market. I really don't, but I do do some testing in the pre-market. If you are trading the pre-market, I would really want, I, I would keep your eyes on CODX and NNBC probably about now. And if you are going to trade the pre-market, uh, you guys know, trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I'm not a profitable trader. I'm not a profitable trader. Where is my, oh, my account? My account currently sits at $1,290.20. I will, the producer, just subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the channel. You can have came to a better place where you're seeing from your very eyes. My one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two, time and sales. And this is my active chair where I buy and sell shares at each day. I'm going to get through my trades real quick. I, I, I need to show you guys this just real quick. I'm just going to run through them real quick. Boom. All the trades I took in the pre-market are just testing. So anyways, back here around 7 o'clock, I bought two shares. Welcome to the channel, Thurman Parker. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place where you've seen from your very eyes. This is my 1-minute chart, 5-minute chart, 15-minute chart, level 2, time and sales. This is my active trade where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. <laughs> each and every day, man. How much did you start with? Yes, $1,310 is my starting balance. I'm currently sitting at $1,290.20. I was a profitable trader for about two days, and then I, I'm going up and down. I'm basically a break-even trader right now. There's Landon Helwitz. What's up, peeps? What's up, peeps? Good to see you, Landon Helwitz. Yes, Mark D. Guzman started with $1,310. So here's my first trade. I bought two shares at $9. I tried to buy at $8.50 as it came down. $8.50, I put my order out there. I did not get filled. I put that $8.60, $8.70, $8.80, $8.90, $9. I finally got filled. I sold into that push right there. Let's look on the one-minute chart so you can see it a little bit clearer. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. So I bought on this candle, this one minute candle, and I sold into that candle right there. Two shares at $9.24. So plus 24 cents per share, basically. My next trade I took was on TOCA. TOCA, I ended up taking a trade. Let me show you this one. Whoa. Okay. Here, right here. I bought two shares at $2.04. At 2.04. 20 or where 
where did I, or no, I sold at 204. I bought two shares way back here about 7.15 at two, $2.10. I was actually trying something a little bit differently, a little bit differently. I was trying to buy before it came down to the VWAP. I was going to add down here on the support down towards the 195. I did not add down there because I was in and out of the treehouse this morning. But anyways, I held it, held it. When I came back to the treehouse, it was up here. And I sold three minutes before it pushed right up there to my profit target. <laughs> anyways, it would have been a good green trade. So I lost some money on that one. And look, it went all the way up to 220s. Oh man, right to my profit target. But oh well, my next trade was on CETX. I'm just trying to get through these. I, I did the exact same trade as I did on TOCA. And this one was looking so weak. I wanted to get out a little bit earlier but I got out I bought two shares at two dollars and four cents I sold those shares at one dollar and ninety one cents so I lost 13 cents right there 13 cents a share right there boom CETX I know better than to trade that one but I did anyway <laughs> I did anyway, yeah, because I missed this. I missed this entry back here around 7.30. I was seeing it come down, and you see that? You could have bought on a green candle. I actually almost bought right here in this area around the 190, but I didn't. And then I seen it go all the way up, and I got a little bit of FOMO, and I seen a rip neck up there at 2.20 that had a little bit of a rip neck where I think short sellers were getting on it. And I still tried to buy anyways, and just a bad trade overall. Just a bad, bad trade overall. So those are every single trade I took in the pre-market. Uh, overall, I ended up in the pre-market, though. So overall, I ended up a few cents. What What's my account sitting at right now? Let, let's look at it. A thousand ninety twenty six cents. So I ended up six cents. <laughs> six cents total. Thank you, uh, Irene W. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You can have came to a better place. What you're seeing in front of my very eyes. My one minute chart, five minute chart, fifty minute chart, level two time sales is my actual trade where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Let's put that. Boom. So what stock? And NVC. So you guys, hopefully you guys are taking this. I'm going to look at this. Look, look at the old pre-market high was 989. It's going right through the 989 right now. 989, that's my one minute chart, five minute chart. There we go, boom. Look at this, NNVC. Good morning, oh, I got my keychain Friday. Much nicer than expected. Ron Rhea, thank you, man, thank you. That, that's very, very nice, very, very nice. It, it's more of a symbol. It's more of a token. It's more of for future endeavors in the monkey army it's going to it's going to mean something ron Rhea. hang in there man hang in there we're going to the top we're going to the moon we're going parabolic i don't want to uh speak out too loud but anyways i just want to those are good good things for future giveaways and things like that so that's what we're going to do that's how i'm standing up that's how i get down ma'am but anyways, here we are, NNVC. If you do trade the pre-market, look at this, all the way up over $10 now. I'm probably not going to trade this now. How high can this go, NNVC? Oh man, I don't have this wrote down. NNVC, the, the float according to Yahoo Finance is $5 million. Or commission free trade. Oh, if you have, if you are gonna uh, use Weeble as a broker, Weeble it's a it's a good trading platform. Anthony Anthony lives and dies by it and uses it a lot. If you are gonna sign up with Weeble, I have a link in my description in in my uh, link in the description. If you sign up through that uh, link, it helps uh, it helps Anthony out a little bit, and plus you get a free stock and a, whole, a bunch of other stuff. But anyways, it's a good way. You might as well sign up through it. it if you are going to sign up with Weeble, might as well sign up through it. Definitely helps the monkey army out. Definitely. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Adherence. Adherence. Attachment or commitment to a person, cause, or belief. Adherence. Adherence. We're going to adherence. I thought I thought it looked like a stamp metal, but it's ceramic. Very cool. Yes, yeah, ceramic, Ron Rhea. Ceramic, ceramic. Very nice. Yes, I have one also. Boom. But mine don't have a number. Mine's just a, I just have one. <laughs> I just have one actually. Boom. NGM, uh, look at NNVC. Where are we going to get in? How high can this go? Let's look on the daily chart and look at NNVC real quick. So we can really talk about this one. Let's blow this up a little bit. Maximize sell. Boom. Okay, so the pre-market high right now because it just made it is 1044. If you see a if you see an orange dotted line on my chart, 
that that means it's a pre-market high. I always put the pre-market high in an orange dotted line. So orange dotted line right there, 1044. It may bust over that just right now in a minute, but let, let's look. Let's go back to the yearly chart. Let me shrink my head down real quick. Boom, there we go. So anyway, so 1044. It does, ha it does have some, look at this. I, my daily support resistance lines that are important are 743. I have one at 857. I have a couple sitting around at one at 978, one at 997. I, I'm going to take that 978 one out of there, remove remove 997 I have one and 1342 and 1718 this thing look how far it moved on this day the low high it moved all the way look at that from three dollars to 1342 this thing can really get some power and really get moving really get some power and really get moving look at that thing man this thing $19.20 it got to a high are we noticing anything on here are we noticing anything let's go to the hourly chart see if we notice anything look at this clean hourly chart all the way up did a pull back for a few hours boom 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 all the way down to eight dollars eight twelve and is pushing again the about the same distance it pushed last time look at that how far did it go on this hour low 689 to 981 so about a dollar what what's the low of this nine dollars to ten dollars man this thing is cruising man this thing is going to the moon parabolic going to the moon parabolic amd i'm watching okay so let's go to the 15 minute chart real quick and look at that one look at the 15 minute chart it came down this thing has such crazy range too look at that Look at that. As soon as it busted over that 990s right there, man, that was a good little scalp trade. It's easy to see things after the fact. Hindsight is super easy to see, but I'm just saying, look at that. Boom. So where would you look to get in? Where would you look to get in if it's way up at 1060 up there? I'm not... I. Me, I would look for open washout boom. And where would I look for open washout boom to? Let, let's go on the five minute chart. Down towards that $10. At $10 is the whole dollar level. And $10, everybody knows, usually turns into support or resistance. So that's basically what I would look for. Probably about the 980s, $10, $10.20. Between $980 and $10.20 right there. Boom. For that pullback, if it does keep going up, I'm just not sure. We're, I got to look on the daily chart real quick again. On the daily chart, on the daily chart, so 997, NBC, NBC, so 997, 997, 1342, 1342, 1718, 1718 right there. So 1342. So I'd be looking for intraday move. We'll see how it sits right at the market open. That's what we're going to do, and that's what we'll look for. Boom. But let me uh, blow my head back up and see this. Boom. Boom. Man, this one's a little bit higher priced. I can't really trade this one. But if it did kind of come down to $10, possibly, I'm just not real sure. Not real sure. Holding 50K of TBLT. TBLT. I do like TBLT. Also, Landon Hill, which I, I, love, I like P TBLT. Well, maybe for a swing trade or something. Maybe TBLT. I got to look at that real quick. TB or yeah, TBLT. Man, I'm about to throw that one up on my long longer term chart also. Look at that thing. TBLT is moving. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, this one's a good one too. Let me look at the yearly again. The yearly who knows what's going to happen? I really do like this one as a company, basically as a good as a good company kind of. But who who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? We're, we're going to I'm going to day trade today. Maybe TBLT is a day trade. I don't really see a day trade for myself on it. Look at that 10, 10 20, 10, 19. This one's washing out a little bit. There's still about 10 minutes until the market opens. Let's relax, let's kick back, pull back on NNVC. Yes, I don't trade in the pre-market and I'm not trading at least for the first two minutes. The first two minutes, I'm not going to take a trade. The first two minutes of the stock market, two to three minutes, I will not take a trade. I, I'm really on Mondays, I really get messed up. On Mondays have been uh, traditionally my worst days. 
my worst worst days my biggest losers i'll just keep adding i'll keep doing all sorts of crazy stuff i need to stick to my plan trade my plan plan my trade plan my trade and trade my plan plan my trade and trade my plan Try my plan yes good morning n n b c c o c p c e t x t o c a yes t o c a is Basically, T-O-C-A is my top stock. Where I didn't write T-O-C... Man, I am slacking so bad today. I am slacking bad, bad, bad. T-O-C-A. Let me take this off the chart. Remove drawing. Remove. Remove. Okay, T-O-C-A. Man, I can't believe I don't have this one. So let's look at this one real quick. So it's at 212. 212 can get 288. That there's the 200 on my on my five minute chart. I put the 200. So when I switch it over to the daily, that's the 200 simple moving average, and it's sitting right at 288. So this does have room up to the 288, three dollars, four dollars. Who knows? Who knows? 288, 180, 195, 195, 288. I like to just write the daily support resistance line so i know i kind of know those levels i'd like to know those levels 414 okay there we go t-o-c-a t-o-c-a n-n-v-c though n-n-v-c is a good one n-n-v-c has all the volume right now so oh let me move that one down here bump n-n-v-c n-n-v-c Look at this, ten dollars right here, right here. Look at that. Is it going to catch its feet right here? Probably from ten to about ten thirty, you could catch some money right there. Maybe remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. Maybe this is going to drop straight down, straight, straight down. I do not trade the pre market. Why I don't trade the pre market? I've been wrecked so hard on the pre market. Even if my strategy, even if I have a strategy. It just all depends in the pre-market. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I just do not have consistency in the pre-market. I Right now, I do not have consistency at the market open also, but I'm just saying, look at that, boom. Entry price on TBLT, Landon, Vidal, Gaston, uh, Landon. Entry price on TBLT, Landon. What would you think about that one, Jeremy? Well, um, that's a that's a good great question. Great question, Videl. A great great question right there. Who who knows? Remember, you always have to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Oh, I need to get this one ready. Uh, personal low fault momentum test. Boom. Okay, here we go. Uh, stop one thirteen. That's my risk money. Look look at this. Look at that ten dollars. They're like ten thirty right there. There's a good little profit right there. Good little profit right there. Man, I love to take those little trades like that. I love to take those little trades, man. You trade. That's how you trade, monkey. Stop. 113. That's my risk, monkey. Uh, five, oh, oh, 05. That's how you trade, monkey. Let it run. Yes, I may, I may even uh, put a trailing stop today. I may even put a trailing stop today if I have time. You have to do it a little bit different. I have to double click on the price after I have a different way. I wish I could just put a trailing stop. So, oh, VXRT. That's what I wanted to look at. Okay, VXRT, VXRT. I don't, I'm not going to trade VXRT. This one gets me, maybe I will trade this if it gets a little bit of volume there. A little, little bit of volume. Let me take a deep breath. COCP also is looking so $1.1305. Man, that's a good one. Good job, Ricardo Zapata. That's how you do it, man. That is how you do it. Dollar five, dollar five. Man, I like I like your look at the market. That that is a pretty clean, clean look right there. That that gives your uh, gives it enough room to move. Gives it enough room to move right there. Boom. That that is a good one. E N L V is all the way down to eleven fifty two right now. Eleven fifty two. Let, let's get back over. So VXRT, maybe that one's going to move today. We'll have to see. I'm going to follow the volume. You guys know what we do. We're going to follow the volume. I'm not going to trade a stock that is over $10 though. So I'm probably not trading NNVC, even if it is moving. I know I shouldn't limit myself like that, but 
I, I'm just, um, I kind of have to stick to my rules. I need to stick to my rules now. But if it is a $10 stock, if it's right around $10, maybe I will take a trade. What? How many shares? 40 shares. 40 shares of that. <laughs> That's going to be crazy on a $10 stock for me. 40 shares is a lot for me. On a ten dollar stock, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot. Ten dollars forty shares, four hundred. Why would I buy that many shares? I I guess that's what I would do. Four to ten, twenty shares probably. Twenty shares, twenty twenty shares. So anyway, CETX is going down. So it, the market's gonna open like four minutes. I'm gonna take a deep breath. And I'm going to take a drink of coffee and take a drink of coffee, man. Take a drink of coffee. So what stock, what stock am I going to watch? T-O-C-A is my top stock. I really seen something in the pre-market. I'm going to show you guys right now, right here in the pre-market. It had a rip neck to the downside at to this $1.92. Somebody was sitting there so strong they just stood it straight up at a dollar ninety two. Somebody, somebody around that dollar ninety two spot. Something's going on right there. At least to me, there is. At least to me, dollar ninety two. Something is going on right there. Dollar that dollar ninety two. C O C P looks good. Also, yes, I do like C O C P. That that one's a little bit. If it's under a dollar, sometimes I won't trade it. Also, but that one could get over the dollar. Those stocks that are right around a dollar are just kind of a little bit difficult. I, I did not take a drink of coffee yet. CETX, time to buy CETX. Man, that, that, every time I look at that, it looks like a short sell to me. But it is doing an open washout boom, basically, washing out. But it, it's been, it's just trending down. It's been trending down ever since about 7.30, I think. 7.30 or whatever time that is. Yeah, 7.30, 7.45. So I'm trying to relax today. I really want to do. So if it's a two, two to $3 stock, I will buy 60 shares. 60 shares. 60 shares right there. Boom. If it's a one to $2 stock, I'm going to buy 100 shares. But if it's over $2, I'm going to buy 60 shares right there. And I'm not worried. Um, today, I'm not going to be worried in the stock market. If I lose $10, if I lose $20, I'm going to survive. I just need to really sit down and understand. I need to take my trades as I see my trades. And I can see, I see the market pretty clearly, but I'm just not trusting myself. Look, look at that resistance up there towards that 225. If this thing got through the 225, then it would have room up to 235, 250. Who knows what's going to happen up there? Boom. But we're going to follow the volume. Market down over 900. Wilton Forbes says the market is down over 900. That thing's dropping like a rock. So probably the coronavirus stocks may be the good, uh, good stocks. What is TOCA? T-O-C-A, yeah, so maybe, maybe some of these other ones, A-P-T, 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 uh, C-O-D-X, so we're just, the market's going to open like 30 seconds. Today, I'm trying to relax a little bit. I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm going to take my trade. So NNVC is probably the top stock to be watching out the market open, maybe C-O-C-P. I'm going to be watching T-O-C-A, T-O-C-A, right out the market, right out the market open. So let's do this, man. Let's do this. We got this. This ain't no big deal. Trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Mm -mm -mm. Corona test. Yes, Corona. Is Corona the thing that's ruining the market today or what? I'm going to be, I'm going to adhere to my program today. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. The market is open. CODX is looking a little uh, good too. CODX. $1.92. I noticed something down towards $1.92 on this. $1.92. $1.92. C-T-O-C-A. T-O-C-A. N-N-V-C. Uh, a lot of these stocks are going down. A lot are going down. I 
I tried to buy 60 shares in the first minute. I tried to buy 60 shares of TOCA in the first minute. I, if I get in, I'm going to use $1.92 as my risk. $1.92 is going to be my risk, but I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. I'm just not sure what's happening. $1.92, so that will be about a $6 risk. About a $6 risk. I shouldn't have bought in the first minute right here, but who, who knows? Who knows? Man, almighty. Am I even filled or what's going on? <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on? Man, I don't know what's going on. Am I filled? Am I not filled? Am I filled or what? I don't know. And NBC went down and caught its feet down there. Did an open washout. Boom. I, I don't know if I'm in this thing or not in this thing. What happened? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Oh my gosh. What? Did it fill my order? Sometimes my order's out in the market like that and I would be filled. Even if I canceled the order, I don't know if I'm filled or not filled or what. Your word is no good. Your word, My word is good. I, I'm going to trade the first minute. Look at that. What happened? Oh my gosh. You're right. My Wilton Forbes, you're absolutely right. My word is no good. I'm not trading the first two minutes. I'm not trading. I just seen such a clean a setup right there. The open washout boom right there. If I could trade that, I would trade that all day long. All day long, man. Look at that. Look at that. What? Oh my God. And NBC is all the way up towards eleven dollars. All the way up towards eleven dollars up there. Man, man, almighty! I don't know what's going on. Did you see? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I canceled it because didn't you see it sitting out in the market? Sometimes when I cancel it, it, my order's already filled. It just takes a minute to lag it. Yes, I canceled it, but I canceled it because I thought it went through already. I, I should have, maybe I should have just left it out there. I didn't know what was going on. Well, sometimes, do you notice when you, uh, when I buy the first minute sometimes, it, I, I put my order out in the market and my order is getting filled, but I just don't know what's getting filled. And then uh, even when I cancel it, it's still out in the market. That's what I was waiting for. I was going, oh, I'm probably in the trade. I just don't know it. I just don't know it. That's what I thought. That's what I've been waiting for this whole time. I thought I was in the trade. Even when you cancel it, sometimes it's just it, your your order's still out in the market. I let it go for like a, a whole minute sitting right there. A whole, whole minute. You could be in. I could be in. Yes, Carl the Raw Food Trader. I could be in. That's what I just don't know if I'm in or not. That would be really nice if I was in, though. That would have been really, really nice. I can't believe that. I'm going to contact them and tell them what the heck is going on. What the heck? When the market has high volume like today, the order confirmations are lagged out. Yes, man, you believe that? That was such a beautiful trade. Now, now any trade after this is just going to be, uh, just going to be wrecked. Wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. Look at that. That was such a beautiful trade. I, I, I should have just, I shouldn't have canceled the order, but I thought I was actually in the trade. I, I really did in the back of my head. I said, oh, I'm in the trade. It's going to fill my, or I'm probably filled about 202, 203, 204 down there. But look at that. Look at that. Boom. Not smart, bro. You cancel as soon as you, no, I canceled a minute later. Look back in my live stream. I canceled a minute later. A minute later, I didn't cancel it. It was just out in the market. I do this all the time, the exact same thing. And so even when I canceled my order, my order had went through. You know what I mean? Of course, I canceled it a minute later because it was just floating around out there. <laughs> floating around out there. I, I let it sit out there a minute, a minute, and it just would not fill me down there.
TOS is lagging today. Yes, I'm not even going to take a trade for the first eight. Oh. I, I, I did it. I was in. Boom, boom. <laughs> I told you. I told you, man. I did it. $28. I made $28 today. 28 bucks. 28 bucks. Boom, boom. Oh, man. Oh, man. Boom. <laughs> Boom! Boom! <laughs> nice, man! <laughs> Biggest day ever, man! Biggest day! $28, man! Right there! I knew it! I knew I was in there! I knew I was in there, man! I knew I was in there! That's a good profit target for me, right at the 250s right there! Boom! 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 <laughs> We did it, Ma. Day trading, we did it, man. We did it, man. Day tra trade your own plan and plan your own trade. I did it, man. Nice play. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let, let's settle down. Let's settle down. This ain't no big deal. We got this. Zona J, I, I killed it, man. I killed. I got $28.68 on 60 shares. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Nice, nice, man. That was the killer, killer of all kills, man. Killer of all kills. I did it. I, I'm a profitable trader just like that. I went from unprofitable trader to profitable trader. I'm a profitable trader, man. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. I need to cancel. Boom. Cancel everything. Make sure I'm not in this. Let, let's look for our next trade here. I don't really want to ruin my, uh, ruin it. Boom, boom, boom. So we kill the next one now. Yeah, straight falling. I'm very excited, man. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see it? You were filled at 203. Yes, I was filled at 203. That was a beautiful entry. But just think if this stock would have went down. My, my stop loss was right down here at $1.92. I had noticed something earlier in the pre-market around $1.92. I had noticed there was a huge, I think it was a huge buyer down there at $1.92. He just stopped it cold in his tracks. In the pre-market, I had my eye on this thing. Boom. I didn't get filled. Ricardo Zapata, oh man. TDA wanted you to hold longer. Yes, that's what I needed to do was hold long. Just think if I would have, if it, my order would have went through, would I have held that long? I'm not real sure, but I, I I would like to think I would hold that long. I'd like to think. Ricardo Zapata, oh man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Uh, Trader Parker, what do you think of that? I, I thought my order might have went through right there. I really did think it kind of went through. But just, look at this. Look, look, man, almighty. Okay, so let's kick back for a minute. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to, uh, man, I just want to relish. I just want to relish in my big win today. That was a big, 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 big win. <laughs> big win, man. CODX is washing out. CODX is washing out. COCP is moving a little bit. COCP. COCP. Sorry for talking so loud, guys. COCP is washing out, too. All these stocks, except for TOCA, is the only one. You have the patience. The OCO orders with brackets will be a lot safer during the first few minutes of trading on TDA. Carl, the raw food trader, that is a great a great plan right there. That That is super true right there. If you are going to trade the first minute, it's probably better to throw out an OCO order. So you buy your shares and your order will probably be bought and sold without you even knowing it. That That's a, su uh, Carl, the raw food trader, that is super uh, valid, 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 valid words right there. Because your orders are actually going through, you're just not seeing it. You know what I mean? You're just not seeing it. It's not going through again. Look at that. What the heck? I don't know what's going on. I'm not...
I try. I tried to buy 60 shares there. I don't know if I'm filled or what. I don't know if I'm filled or what, man. If I'm filled, I'm not liking it. 216 would be my stop. From 226 to 216 would be my stop. Unreal. How about TD TDA? They are off the ball today. Off the ball. I tried to flatten my shares. I don't know what's going on now. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Now I'm a little bit worried. This is basically the drop, fake, and pop boom, but I want to be able to take profit up towards the 240s up there. That 240 would be my first profit target right there. So I try I tried. I, I don't know what's going on. What's going on right there? Oh, I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. Hopefully, I'm not in a trade. If I am in a trade, hopefully, I'm not sure. I pressed the flat now button when it was up a few cents, so I don't know. I just don't know. I, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. I hear C. Megan Sterling are having problems today, too. Oh, man, are everybody's having problems. Yeah, so, sometimes they just have problems, and you have to accept that. Look at this thing. This is not good for me. Not, not good. 216, 216. Man, that is not good. Come on. Hopefully, I'm not in this trade. Hopefully, I'm not in a trade. Man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh, look, it's getting bought up a little bit right there. It's getting bought up a little bit. Getting bought up. Weibo also. Michael Hugger Sr. says Weibo also. Yes, it may be some of the trading platform. Monkey, check out your balance in your phone to check if you're in the trade. Uh, let, let me. Uh, Okay, hold on. I don't think so. I, I don't think it doesn't show me in a trade. It doesn't show me. No, I, I, I don't believe I'm in a trade. I don't know if I'm in a trade. I don't believe I'm in a trade. If I am in a trade, I'm a, I'm hurting. I'm hurting for certain. <laughs> I'm hurting for certain. If I am in a trade, I'm hurting. I don't think I am in a trade because I canceled this one a lot quicker. Did you see me cancel this one a lot quicker? A and I flattened. I sold the market and I pressed flat now. I, I did all the right things to get out of the trade. So hopefully, hopefully that one. Too much volume today. It's a bandwidth issue for all brokers. So if you know if you know that uh, everything's uh, a little bit laggy today, we're going to have to really stop and just wait. Uh, I'm not going to take no more trades. I'm really screwing up. I shouldn't have took this trade, but I could not help myself. It had so much volume. I thought this was going to be the washout, and then it was going to pop up to the 250s right there, and that's where I was going to take my profit. That's where I would have took my profit. Interactive brokers is also slow. Yes, I can't believe this thing. At least all the brokers across the board. So remember, just remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. But we have to be careful today. It helped me out being patient a little bit in my trade. Maybe I'm still in a trade here. I don't know. Even if I still am in a trade, I'm, I'm not not liking it. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not like a bad. It's not the end of the world. Even if I still am in at 226 or 227 right there, I still think I could get out for break even if it filled me even right now. 
You know what I mean? It is trying to bounce off the support. I think it has a possibility to get up towards that 248, 250 up there. So who, who knows though? Maybe it's just going to come all the way back down. We'll, we'll have to see. I wouldn't take this trade. Sometimes I take a trade like this underneath that VWAP. It will come back up through it. Boom. It's, it's at two. It's at two dollars. Yes, two dollars. Monkey, try to buy one share of a cheap stock to see when you get filled. That that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let let me try that. Oh yeah, I, I got filled. I got filled as soon as I hit it. At 216, I'm gonna use two dollars as my stop right there. Two dollars. I'm just gonna uh, my profit target is up towards the 236 right here. 236 I would take profit. Probably 233, tell you the truth. 233 I would take profit right there. 233, I would take profit. I may have to take profit down towards 226 would be a better profit target. To, better profit target, actually, but... Bum, bum, bum. Let me just hold on to this one. I My first profit target would be right by this VWAP. My next profit target would be at 232. My my first profit target would be about 232. When the overall market is down over 800, things are going to be sluggish at the open. Paul to ball. Those, some of you guys have some great points right there. Some great, great points. APT washed all the way down. Now it's catching its feet too, APT. I placed a stop order and didn't execute 20 seconds later. It canceled the order on me. Danny Berenger. Oh, man. That's hard. Sometimes when your broker is having issues, it's really frustrating. And it's really good if you take a winning trade. But when you take a losing trade, you want to blame the whole world. But obviously, that should not happen. That should not happen. But but trading your own plan, plan your own trade, sometimes these things do happen. These things definitely do happen. CODX is starting to do, it's about to do a red to green move. About to do a red to green move. CODX. CODX right there. Um, CODX 238. So my stop is going to be right there at the low of day. At 199 is going to be my stop. 216, 226, 236 should be my first profit target right there. I got in a little high right there, but oh well. Oh well, and I, I'm just I'm trying to see what's going on in the stock market. I'm trying to relax to make sure uh, everything's fine. At least it didn't fill me right there because I canceled my order so quick. Did you see how fast I canceled my order right there? I canceled it and it just went boom. I can't. It must have canceled me before I got filled. Congratulations on your $28 day. I told you, I was saying I was going to have a $20 day. I told you I did it. I did it. I can't wait till Will stops by, man. <laughs> did you have your $20 day? And the answer is yes. Yes, the answer is yes, man. <laughs> yes, I had a $20 day. I traded that. I got out fast, Danny Peeper. Yes. Man, man, that was a good one. Excellent job, monkey. Thank you, Jim Manahorn. Thank you, man. I'm very excited. This is one of my best days. My best days, even though it's only 28 bucks on a small account, that is a huge, huge win for me. That was a beautiful trade. I took a good trade. Uh, the second trade I took, I would have got stopped out for minus six dollars, though. I would have stopped out right there at 216, or at least I like to think I would have stopped out. I probably should have put my stop honestly down here at the two dollars, even though I got in at 226. I should have managed my risk and figured out how many shares should I buy to have the correct amount of risk to put it at the low a day. You know what I mean? That's what I kind of should have done on this, but this trade is usually it works or it doesn't. So if it doesn't work, I get right out. That That's basically how I do it. Way to go, monkey. Thank you, man. Troy R., thank you. You got lucky, monkey. If you were in, you would have sold at plus three cents. <laughs> Reckless. Who knows? I, I, I like to think I would have held at least to the 230s. 
at least to the two uh, 20s I would have sold I would have tried to sell partial profits at the two 20s and my next profit would have been up towards the 238 and my next profit would have been up towards the 250s that's basically how I would have looked at it but I don't know if I would have followed the game plan uh, exactly but I like to think I would have had a $20 day on that a 20 20 dollar day but I'm I'm looking for another trade, but I don't want to really ruin my twenty dollar day today. If you can beat ten percent ROI on your principal, you're on a roll. Thank you, Jim Matterhorn. Yes, you didn't even know you were. Yes, I I kind of knew I was in. That's what Trader Parker was trying to say too. Uh, you canceled your order, but I thought I was in the trade. I've been through this a lot with TD Ameritrade at the market open. This has happened to me quite often, and usually even when I cancel my order after because I was I, I had let it sit out there for a whole minute and usually when uh, that happens you're in the trade you know what I mean you're definitely in the trade but that's just what don't regret losing your profit walk away yes nice V walk away man if I see another clean trade I'm gonna have to take it though this is looking so powerful so so powerful right here look at that Boom, 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 216, 216. Is it going to make it? It's going to need to get right through this, either this time or in the next 10 minutes. In the next 10 minutes, this looks like a good, good stock right here. Good, good stock. Good stock, T-O-C-A. And NVC is all the way down to 906. I have a daily support resistance line on NNVC at 857. GNPX, G, man, I, I just took GNPX off my chart too. GNPX, let me put that one up there. GNPX, 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 oh, GNPX, good look. GNPX is moving right now. GNPX, GNPX, boom, GNPX. Man, good, good look right there. Good, good look. Why don't I see that? GNPX. GNPX, look at that thing. GNPX is high alert. Who said? Who said that? Who who said GNP? RDM nine eight six zero seven. GNPX, good job, man. Good job with that one. Boom, boom, boom. Nice of you. Walk away. Don't regret. Man, that was such a good trade. Good, Such a good trade. GNPX is pushing, pushing, pushing. I have a daily support resistance line right at $6.10 right there. $6.10. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I, I need to take this out of here. Remove drawing. Hey, monkey thoughts on PAVM. Hold on. Maybe I'll look at it here in just a little bit, but... uh. I, I didn't really, I, I, I'm not really prepared too much awful this morning. TOCA was basically the top stock I had on watch. Just from that thing I noticed in the pre-market and plus the volume was looking okay. So anyways, TOCA had a good, good look on it. PAVM, maybe that one's going to be a good one. I, I GNPX, I'm not going to take this trade, even though it could bust over the $6.10. Let's look at the daily chart, 610. Look at that, way up there. Look at that. That's the high. That was the high from, what was that, 575. It just busted over that high right there. TD Ameritrade, lag, uh, lag. Oh, man, KDOT, the official. I know I know. sometimes TD Ameritrade has problems, but I think a lot, of, a lot of brokers have problems. You know what I mean? It just comes with the territory, but I understand your frustration. I, I definitely do understand your frustration there. Boom, I really, really do. Look at, man, GNPX is up over all those highs. How high can that thing get to? Look at that. Look at that, man. I should have took that. I didn't think it was going to do it. I really didn't think it. Oh, I guess it has lots of room. It, it's in that next range, that $6.10 to $8 range. $6.10 to $8 right there. Look at that. Boom. GNPX high alert. High, high alert. Oh, T-O-C-A is coming back down. T-O-C-A, man. T-O-C-A. I'm going to put a stop on my one order down there. T-O-C-A. T-O-C-A, 199. I'll, I'll look at P-A-V-M pretty quick, but I, I just want to stay with uh, G-N-P-X. 
Look at that thing. Man, I should have took that trade. What a beautiful, good, good trade right there. Good trade. Had an order at 226 on TOCA. Didn't get filled on the way up. Guess what? Now I got filled on the way down. Ricardo Zapata, I, I think it still has hope. It could still have hope, but remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I'm not a profitable trader. Oh, wait a minute. I am a profitable trader now. <laughs> I am a profitable trader. Look at my account balance. Or, or I guess you can't tell my account balance because I'm in a trade right now. But I guess you kind of basically could see it. Look at that. In a halt. GMPX uh, RDM uh, 98607. That was a beautiful, great call. Beautiful, beautiful, great call. Beautiful call. Uh, if I was going to take any trade, it would have been right there at the 580s. I didn't trust it when it kind of came back down below that 610. I thought it was going to kind of come back down to the 520s. But it didn't. It just it just did a little pullback. The volume, man. I should have did that one. I should have. I noticed that, man. I missed that one. Halted. Yes, halted. G N P X is in a halt right now. The stock market seriously is so hot right now. Even though some stocks are going down, it's just the stock market is on fire. Look how much money there is. Anyone know of a good diamond stock? Brett Bixby says, GNPX halted, halted, yes, had an order. Man, I, I really, CETX is pushing right now. CETX is also pushing right now. CETX, look at this one. Doing the BWAP test this quickly. That That's early. That's early for a stock like this. That is early, man. G uh, C E T X C E T X. If you can beat ten percent R O I annual on your principal, you're on a roll. Yes, I cannot believe that was such a beautiful good trade, man. Sometimes I take this trade. It's lo looking a little stretched out right now. I've been noticing a brand new trade in the stock market that happens after one of my other setups, but it, it it's when it cut. Oh man, look at that! Here we go. Here we go. What is gonna happen? What will happen? C E T X G N P X, and there goes T O C A T O C A. So my profit target on T O C A. T O C A. Is two thirty two. Two thirty two would be my profit target on this. To a 232 CETX looks like a good stock and it's getting some volume, but to me, I, basically, it looks more like a short sell right there up towards that VWAP test right there. It could push all the way to the dollar 90s, the two dollars, but I, I'm thinking maybe it's going to go the other way, you know what I mean? But who knows? That thing could go up. Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. But to me, it looks like a short sell right there. I would short sell CETX, but. It looks like it's going to come up. Maybe it will get to $2. So there could be some money on the long side also. Some good money on the long side. Oh, man. This thing this thing keeps testing the VWAP. It needs to get right through this thing. Get right through there. I thought, I thought it may do a little pullback and then push, but is it going to make it? Will it make it through this? We'll have to see what happens. And NVC is starting to catch its feet a little bit down towards that nine dollars. Now it's getting up towards that nine twenties. Nine twenty. Today is a good day for SPCE around thirty. RDM nine eight six zero seven. RDM. That was a beautiful. You were right on GMPX. I had GMPX on my chart this whole time, and just this morning. I took it off my chart. I, I knew I should have left it on for one more week, actually. But, oh, well, that was, I, that was a horrible miss on my part. Good, great look on your part. That was a great look on your part. Man, that was uh, perfect. Perfect, perfect timing. Perfect timing right there. So CETX is at 173, 174. There could be a little scalp trade, maybe. I, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens with that one. We'll see what happens. Let, let's go look at COCP. COCP doing the same thing. <laughs> Every Everybody's doing the same thing right now. Look at that one. COCP. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, that ain't, that ain't the right line. Remove drawing. COCP. So when does GNPX come out of the halt? GNPX. 
199. I'm putting my stop in there at 199. I'm going to get back over to GNPX to wait for the halt to see what happens. Uh, Four to ten dollar stock, I will buy 20 shares of this stock. 20 shares of this. I should buy 40 shares, but 40 shares is going to be a little bit over $200. I'm trying to spend $200 per trade tops. Here, we're out of the halt. Out of the halt right here. Six forty. There it goes. Oh man, that was a good one right there too. Did you see that? Did you see that, man? Oh, that was a good one. Did you see? Did you see that selling volume and it holding up right there? There was a good trade right there, right by that six fifties, right by the six fifties, right there. Man, that was a good one. A little scalp trade, it looks like. A little scalp trade. So, did that get a rip neck on the way down? What happened right there? I missed it. I missed it. Good little scalp trade right there, though. Man, I'm just so worried about myself right now again. So, so worried about my trading. Now, now I don't want to make a red day. I don't want to have a red day. On watch A Duran uh, on watch A B E O had a reverse split, thirteen million float, setting up nicely on the daily chart. A B E O A B E O reverse split, yes, boom. Reverse split. Look at C O P D C O C P C O stock C O C P is pushing through. Uh, look at COCP if you do trade a sub dollar stock. That one's looking pretty good. COCP out at 659 from 593. Great move on GNBX. Uh, be careful now, Andrew Douglas. Could be a nice seven dollar short GNPX. Yeah. Oh, that's a great look. Storm traders, great, great look right there. Great look around that seven dollars. Look at that. To me, I, I, it looks like I should scoop this up a little bit right here. Five eighty three, five eighty three to six dollars. Six twenty, six twenty. Six twenty. Whoa. Six twenty. Six twenty. Come on. The low six eleven. Six ten. I'm putting a, a hard stop in there. I, I want this to get up to the 660s right here and then push a little bit. If it doesn't do it here pretty quickly, I'm just probably just going to get out. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. 640. 640 should have been my first profit target. 640. Get up there. Get up there. Dollar fifty, boom, 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 right there. Six twenty to six thirty. I know I sold a little early, but it's struggling right there. I wanted to see it come up on that minute right there. I wanted to see it start coming up and then come down and use that as support one more time. Oh man, I sold a little early. I sold early. Ah, oh, I cannot believe that. I keep doing that. I need to stop. I need to be a man about the situation. Heart check, man. Heart check. Do I have the heart? I have the heart. I have the freaking heart, man. <laughs> I have the heart, man. Man, that was a good one. 640 should have been my first profit target. Plus 20 cents and then I should have sold some more right there. Look at that. Boom. Oh man, almighty. Oh my god.
Man, heart check, heart check, man. Set your exits on the ups and downs. Yes, I need to quit doing that. I, I, I had my, I had my hard stop in there. I should have just left it alone and let this play out. Let it play out, man. Because Storm Traders was saying a short sell up towards seven dollars. It still can go up towards seven dollars, and I think that's a great spot for a short sell right there. And if it gets rejected right here, it looks like it could be even a better short sell right here. You know what I mean? But who knows? Maybe it's a long trade still. Look at the volume in this thing. It's going, going, going. Well, made money, but TOS almost cost me big time by not being able to get out, Terry. Yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. The answer is yes, ma'am. $30 day. I made 30 bucks today. Look at TOCA, my, my trade. I need to get out. I need to get out of my trade, man. Oh, oh. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, man. Look at that. I made 30 bucks today. GNPX is another good one. Man, some great trades in the stock market. Some great trades. Look at that. I, I, I could have had a $50 day today. A $50 day. I should have took TOCA with some more larger shares right there. Some more larger. Look at that. Boom. All the way back up. All the way back up. Way to go, Monkey Terry. $30 day today. Look, look at my account. Look at my account balance in one day. In one day, I'm at $1,320. I'm... I'm ten dollars over my starting balance. <laughs> I'm ten. I'm a profitable trader, man. I turned into a profitable trader all in one day. Boom, boom, boom. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Yes, don't get greedy. I'm not going to get greedy. I'm going to be very careful if my trades are my trades. GNPX it was a huge disappointment for me. I I really did that same thing. Maybe TOCA was showing me that hold on to your trades a little longer hold hold on so gnpx looks like it may be doing a fake out breakout right there gnpx may do a fake out breakout may do a fake out or is it going to keep going i don't know but look at that one man 620s all the way up to six man i had another good trade there there was 12 more dollars in my pocket right there monkey you're up today i see is this because you actually held a winning drink or because your trade it, it, both both will what i i i held a trade a little bit longer on toca but it wasn't my doing you know how tos lags at the stock market open i i totally look at cetx i i totally got in a trade but uh, tos was lagging and it helped me hold on to my trade a little bit longer but that's okay i'm learning i'm doing okay everything's working out yes well i'm up i'm up ten dollars i'm a profitable trader again i turned into a profitable trader again <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. We're killing the stock market. The monkey army is strong. Well, I, I know you probably did good today too because there's some strong stocks today. Some strong, strong stocks today. GNPX, T-O-C-A. C-E-T-X is giving you a little bit of a play, but I, I'm not real sure about that one. Yes, I, I'm going to show you T-O-C-A. Look at that. Plus $28.81. I only took 60 shares, but I held on all the way up to 250 From 203 to up to 250 I held that whole trade all the way up there. Not, not all my all my doing but i'm very proud of that fact <laughs> he got lucky i saw it in real time it was pretty funny adley yes i got lucky i got lucky that's why i'm a profitable trader now everybody gets lucky every now and again what it's telling me is to hold on to my winners longer look at my trades nobody can take my trades away from me are my trades are my entries good to me, my entries are tight and on point. My entries are tight and on point, man. CETX going over too. Wilton Forbes says CETX is going over too, which it could. That that's where it does have room up to two dollars. To me, I I would keep short. I would have short sold probably right here, and I would add to my position all the way up to the two twenty would be my ultimate stop point. 
But anyways, I would add another time at $2. But who knows, GNPX is coming back down. GNPX is coming back down again, boom. $28, yeah, the entry and exit was actually perfect. Yes, I did perfect, man. Well, well it's good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, my friend. And killing the stock market. Man, I can't believe that was one of the beautiful, most beautiful situations I've ever sat through. That was that was the best best uh, case scenario. Look at TOCA too. I, I did buy one more share down there. Look at that thing going up. TOCA is a great stock today. TOCA is looks like the top, top stock of the day today. Top, top stock. My GLD, TLT, USLV, YANG had just paid off nicely from Friday. Perfect, because you had no idea that you were in or not. Yes, I didn't know if I was in or not. I had a pretty good clue that I was probably in the trade because I had let my trade uh, hang out so long. But I, I, I thought I was in the trade, which was making me happy as I watched the stock go up. But I was a little bit worried at the same time going, it better have filled me. But I wasn't real positive. I just wasn't sure, sure, sure. Basically, bottom and top tick T-O-C-A. Yes, I bottom and top tick t <laughs> And look, I did buy another share right here. The only reason I bought one share was because I thought it was a good entry and the stock was looking strong. Again, APT is uh, doing a red to green move. APT, it went red on the day. Now it's trying to go green on the day. That's what I'm talking about, a red to green move. APT is moving a little bit. So the only reason why you made $28 is because TOS won't let you close your trade. <laughs> TOS. Well, maybe. Who knows? Who really knows what happened? Who really knows? APT is moving. APT. Who knows? Maybe I would have held on. Maybe I wouldn't have held on. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Man, that was a good one. Look at this one. I I, I would have took this trade. I should have took that trade, actually. GNPX also. I think this one, I'm not sure what APT is going to do. Does this have to do with the flu? Yeah, flu mass. Flu mass. Yes, I'm taking credit for it. Life is life is what you make it, nice V. Some things happen, some, some things don't happen. TOS was laggy. Sometimes it helps you, sometimes it doesn't. It's just all in the grand scheme of things. Does You know you just have to roll with the punches and get through life, and that's how I'm doing trading, is really just trading my setups. That's it, each and every day, trading my setups, trading my plan. I'm walking away. This is dumb, nice V said. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Wait, monkey. Nice V. Don't leave, man. You know better than that. You know what we're doing. Let's see if I can continue to be profitable. See how I'm trading and see how it's working out. I took some beautiful entries. Everybody knows I take good entries. And that's just a fact. That is just a downright fact. Look at TOCA is all the way up to 240. NGM, less risk setup. Uh, NG oh, yeah. NGM. NGM, I know that one. NGM, where is that? I'm not sure where my NGM is at. But look at this. APT. APT did this red to green. I'm just not sure. This ain't really what I kind of look for right here. But it, it does it it does have room, has a little bit of room up to the pre-market high up there. Is it gonna make it? Where would you get in? I'm just not real sure where I'd get in. It'd have to be down towards this, right where it's sitting at. I would probably try to take a stab on APT for that push up a little bit, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it on this one. C-E-T-X, C-E-T-X, T-O-C-A. Man, I really missed this one. That was straight up luck. Adelie says that was straight up luck. Boom, boom, boom. I, I been, I've been not a profitable trader. I've been basically a break-even trader. Now I'm a profitable trader. I can call myself a profitable trader. Who knows how long is my luck going to last? Is it all luck? Do you really believe it's all luck? If you do, I don't know. I, I trade my plan. I plan my trade. Every single day, I trade the same way. So every single day, I do the exact same thing. FTF, oh, FTFT, let me look at that one, FTFT, FTFT, oh, PAVM also, I wanted to look at PAVM, boom, PAVM, 
Oh, I have it on there. Oh, whoa, look at that. Sorry, I should have came over here earlier, but P-A-V-M. P-A-V-M. Look at that thing. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. P-A-V-M is moving right now. Look at that thing. Moving good. Moving good. Three oh nine, three oh nine. Man, P A V M looks like going. I just rewatched that twenty eight dollar trade. It wasn't your plan at all. It was all T O S luck. Shame on you, monkey. What? I did I did I try to buy the shares? Did I buy the shares? Did I buy them? Yes, I bought them. Then what's it? Am I paper trading? Was that a real money trade? Was it a real money trade? I'm not just doing it fantasy style. I'm actually trading. I'm trading. <laughs> Roland B, good morning. He technically followed his plan. Get an order confirmation and sell right away. Yes, A.N., I followed my plan and planned my trade every single day. Boom, $30. $30 today on a small account. This is just the beginning for me. This is just the beginning. Boom, the luck was in the hold. Yes, if it would have went down, I would have had a losing trade. But I, I bought where I wanted to buy and I sold as soon as I could sell at the 250s up there. And that's what that's a good trade to me. That's a great trade to me. I, I wouldn't have, I honestly, you made $30 to, yes, Doc Hedgehog, $30 today. Let, let me show you. Uh, T-O-C-A, $28.81 on T-O-C-A. On G-N-P-X, I made $1.50. So basically, I made 30 bucks today. I made $30 today. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. C-E-T-X, T-O-C-A. Boom. Suck it. Because T-O-S messed up and made him hold his position. <laughs> Suck it, Chuck. Thanks, man. Which one? It was T-O-C-A. I want to show it to you. I want to show it to you. Uh, oh, I'm on it right now. Uh, let, let's look at it. Let's look at it real quick. Boom. Let's look at it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let, let me put up my, my trade up here. Settings. Setting show trades show trades right here show trades apply. Okay, boom Did I do it what's going on style settings I don't I don't know why it's not showing my trades right now. Why is it not showing those? I don't know. I, I have no idea why it's not. But anyways, I entered down here. Was it a good entry? Was it a good exit? Yes, yes, and yes. All answers are yes. The market is broken today. I hope you have a real $20 trade someday soon. I just did. I just did, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I took the trade. I took the trade. Oh, GNPX. I need to look at this one. Look at PAVM. That was a that was a pretty good one. PAVM. I'm not sure about PAVM, what to look for on this, but Anyways, it is going up. It is pretty high right there and it is moving. But to me, I think the best stocks for the day are basically NNVC is curling around. Is it going to make a push up towards that $10 again? There could be a little money on NNVC. It could be doing the VWAP test if it came back down to $9 right there. I'd look on th thoughts on MBRX. Let me look at MBRX. There's LPCN. Look at this one. LPCN, we've traded this one in the past also. LPCN, LPCN, and COPD, look at this. So TOCA is actually, TOCA, TOCA. Man, the stock market is on fire. Stock market is on fire. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You remember me telling you about TOCA and that I was buying comments and calls when stock was at 85 cents for a swing trade on Friday. Train monkey. Stock hedgehog. Good job, man. Good job. And remember ZOM went right to that 40 cents. Right, right to, or the 50 cents. 50 or 40 cents right there. Just past 45 minutes in, they're already nipping at you. Good gosh, your resolve is that of... I, 
anti mandatum how are you doing this morning monkey trick i made 30 bucks uh roll and b i made 30 bucks today and my word for today is ad adherence i need to put that up attachment or commitment to a person cause or belief and my attachment my adherence in the stock market is just incredible man <laughs> incredible Look at T-O-C-A, T-O-C-A. I'm looking at G-N-P-X, what's gonna happen? Man, I had a beautiful entry right there. Look at that, beautiful fake out. My storm traders, that's looking like a good short sell to me also right there, a good, good short sell right there. But C-E-T-X, short sell to me. Uh, what else is moving, C-O-D-X? Adhere to your rules, monkey. Yes, every day. You guys are going to start seeing to tomorrow. I may lose twenty dollars. I'm I'm stepping up my size each and every day. I'm stepping up my size. I'm not going back into lower size at all. I have my strategies. I have my plans. I'm sticking to my plan. I'm sticking to my strategies. I'm sticking to the amount of shares I'm trading. If it's a one to two dollar stock, I am buying a hundred shares. If it's a two to three dollar stock, I am buying sixty shares. If it's a three to four dollar stock, I am buying fifty shares. If it's a four to ten dollar stock, I'm basically buying either twenty or forty shares in between that area. And NVC is doing the VWAP test. Hopefully, some of you guys are making that money. I'm not going to trade it. It's a little bit too high. Monkey is being sedulous. Sedulous. What is sedulous again? Involving or accomplished with careful perseverance. Hey, and thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. Take your applause. Take your bow, man. Uh, uh, thank you for using uh, the vocabulary words. It means a lot. I have a list of every vocabulary word up here on little sticky notes just to keep track of everything. We are learning so, many, so much vocabulary. At least I am, I mean. Some of you guys probably know some of these words already. I have adherence is the new word for this week. Plenitude, autodidact, boondoggle, incessant, persnickety, mollify, and sedulous are all the words. Look at, uh, hopefully NNVC, you guys got took a trade on that. You use $9 as your risk. That's what I would have used all the way up to 950s right there. E-N-L-V, E-N, oh yeah, E-N-L-V, let's look at that one. I, I don't even have this one on my chart because it's too, it's too expensive. E-N-L-V, look at that, $13 all the way up. Look, this is a crazy money maker. If you guys are going to trade this, maybe I would buy one share, maybe I'll buy one share of this. One share, maybe I'll buy one share. Boom, boom, boom. See, GNPX is building a flag. Yeah, it, it's looking a little weak to me, but it, it could still make it up towards that $7 right there. And NVC is really pushing hard and fast right now. COCP is building a great, if you do trade a sub dollar stock, COCP is looking good also. There's a few good stocks out there. Now ENLV, I think, is getting a lot of the attention right now, though. ENLV is getting a lot of the attention. Look at today's volume. Oh, man. <clears throat> Look at this. If if you do take a short sell, I, I would short sell right here at the 1568. I'm going to take a paper trade at 1568. Short sell side, short sell 1568. 1568. I'm going to use that little art. Oh man, never mind. 1568. I would have to add to my position a couple times. 1611. Never mind. Man, that is the wrong side of the market. That stopped me out that quick. Boom. $16 would have been my stop right there. Right there. Boom. Look at that thing. Maybe I am going to look for a long trade. I, I thought I thought that was the spot it was going to go down, but it pushed right up to my daily support resistance line, which is 1699, or maybe that was the pre-market high, something up there. Um, LPTX is moving too. LPTX is moving. Yes, LPTX. Man, I should have short sold right there at the $17. I got in a little early right there, but I wasn't going to add to my position was not going to add to my position. Look at that. Boom. Look at that beautiful short sell right there. Look at that drop like a rock. Drop like a rock. 
Would I pick it up down here by the 1450s? You could maybe get a little scalp trade right there by the 1450s, $15, back up to the 1550s, $16 possibly. But to me, I, I'm not real sure. I'm just not sure. I think maybe it's going to come back down a little bit. But who knows? Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I shouldn't even be speaking out loud unless I'm going to take a long trade. Unless I'm actually going to be in the trade. I'm not even in the trade. I'm just taking paper trade on the short side. That's it. LPTX, Titan to uh, 2020 LPTX, stock ENLV also. This is a monster, man. This is a monster. Look at NGM. NGM is moving too. It's a $20 stock. I, I still have some other stocks on my screen over here on the other side. So I'm kind of looking. GNPX is going down to that $6, catching its feet right there. TOCA, if I do see a, a trade on a stock that I can afford, I'll jump right right over there but right now I just don't see nothing I just don't see nothing the only trade I see right now is on COCP I'd basically try to get in and look for that profit up towards that 99 cents right there but I'd have to find out where am I going to get in it would have to be probably down by the 85 85 84 cents 85 84 but it's pushing up 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 Told you about NGM, low risk. Yes, you told Ricardo. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Yes, yes, and yes. So some of you guys have some good stocks you guys are looking at. There's LPCN, LPTX. Is that 273? LPTX. Whoa, look at that. $15 to $16. There was that trade. I didn't see it doing that. Man, so many people are still interested in this thing. Look at that. I didn't see that happening at all. Somebody bought it right up right there. Somebody bought it right up. <laughs> going to $40. Wilton Forbes says it's going to $40. Who knows? Maybe it is going to $40. I could be totally wrong on this one. This one has a low flow. ENLV has a float according to Yahoo Finance of 3.3 million. 3.3 million. ENLV man look at that man that was a good trade I guess I should have took it I didn't really trust it I thought it was going to drop all the way down all the way down but it did not went straight back up and it looks like there's some buyers trying to buy this up a little bit LPC and NNVC NNVC did the VWAP test right there there's a lot of good trades either on the long side or the short side. There's some good, good trades. CETX, man, GMPX, some good trades in there. Good range trades, good breakout trades, good buy the dip, sell the rip, good everything. <laughs> Going to the moon parabolic. Warriors watch list, ENLV, Paul DeVald, yes, ENLV. Yes, it, it it has a it has super high volume for the day, so I'm not real sure what's gonna happen to this thing. But to me, I thought seventeen dollars was gonna be the top. I really did think seventeen dollars would be the top right here, but it looks like it may go through seventeen. But if it was me, that's where I would have short sold. I jumped in short a little bit early, so it stopped me out right at sixteen dollars. I should have re-jumped in right at the $17. If I'm just paper trading. I'm talking about paper trading. <clears throat> but anyways, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Tons of money to make today. Yes, Anthony. Good to see you, Anthony. There you are, man. Good to see you. Man, I made 30 bucks today. $30 today. Believe it, man. Believe it. Believe it. Tons of my BYND and MSFT. Uh, some of you guys, uh, oh, sorry, Heytran, uh, are, I'm going to do an options trade here pretty quickly. And when I'm going to do an options trade, it's going to be one of Anthony's picks. I know I've been saying that for a while. I'm just trying to get comfortable with, uh, I'm not real, I don't understand options a super, super lot, so I'm trying to get really familiar with it first. But we're going to take one options trade here on this channel eventually. <laughs> eventually. BYND going to $116 maybe tomorrow. The only reason I said that, I just seen Anthony and it came to my mind. But anyways, that's it. That, that, that was the only reason. 
Boom, I'm very happy today. I'm very happy I turned a profitable trade. This is the second time this month I became a profitable trader. Uh, believe it or not, the first, uh, first, second time, second time. How long is it going to last this time? You can trade price action on options tickers. Yes, I've been... I've been really trying to dissect a lot of things with options. Anthony's a really good options trader and I trust his opinion in the stock market on the option side. And so that's why my first options trade, I want to take up one of Anthony's. Even if it doesn't work out, it's okay with me. Uh, win or lose, it doesn't, it matters to me. But let me know so I can set my alarm. Ricardo, yes. Did you even read about what the difference is between a call and a put? Yes. Stock Hedgehog. Oh, and that reminds me, uh, Chat with Trader, episode 32. I did listen to some of it, but everybody basically says all the same stuff. You know what I mean? It's basically they're just their opinion, but some of those people are huge profitable traders, so there's some valuable information in there. But basically, it's just how they got to become profitable traders. It's it's all an individual journey, basically. And that's how I believe the stock market to be because your emotions are what drives your success in the stock market. The sooner you can get control of your emotions, the better off you're going to be. But everybody has little tricks, tips and tricks into the stock market, which are very valuable to learn also. Very, very valuable to learn. APT, look at that one. Did the VWAP bounce? APT, right on the 650s right there. You should get an interview from Chat with Trey. I, I, I am doing, I, I don't know if you know, I have, um, I am going to be doing an interview. It's going to be in the future. I will be doing an interview. I'm not, I, I will be doing an interview in the future for sure. I'm nobody. I'm nobody in the stock market. I'm just an individual man trying to learn to day trade low flow small cap stocks. I can tell you that right now. That is it, man. That is it. Anthony calls, calls. Yes, I want to take a call trade. Yeah, call option call. Option call. Who knows? Yes, options calls. Who knows which uh, side I'll go. WMT going down because of Corona. That coronavirus is, uh, what is going on with that thing? Whoa. Oh, there it is. Okay. Whoa. I keep, there it is. Look at the spy. The spy is at three, 32406. It went, it went down in the pre-market. Then it went up. Now it's coming back down again. The SPY is going boom, boom, boom. But on overall in the last couple days, it's I think it's been going down. It's been going down. You going to talk, believe it or not. <laughs> You're going to talk. Yes, believe it or not. I'm going to talk, man. <laughs> I'm going to talk. There is a great CWT video on risk management from the Best Traders, episode 188. I'll check it out. I do like chat with traders, actually. I, I haven't watched a lot of the episodes, but I have watched some of them. Episode 188. Episode 188. Sometimes when I have a little bit of free time, I will... I will tra I will watch some things on YouTube. Episode... Episode... Episode 188, 188, boom, 188, monkey trade, maybe not a big win in the market, but you are someone in it, thank you, man, thank you, that means a lot, look at this ENLV, look at that, it came down, it's bouncing a little bit, is it going to make a lower high right here, or is it going to push through the 17, this is going to tell us a whole bunch right here, it may do one more VWAP test real quick before it pushes through, but this is probably going to tell a big picture of the picture. Got BCLI $10 calls for March, for March. BCLI, BCLI. Look at NNVC. Hopefully, man, I should have took, I wanted to trade this, but it was a little bit too expensive. Look at that. Oh man, look at that. That that was a this is a good trade. This thing has good volume. Look at the volume. I know it's close to the daily average. It's just over the daily average, but this stock has such crazy range that there's some good money in this thing. Look at that. Every candle. 
every candle it can move about 25 30 40 cents a minute 40 cents a minute and in the stock market that is a lot of money a lot of money got bcli calls for march chwy looking good i'm not in it but should be chwy I need to start checking out some of these. I always see Anthony always talks about some of these LLY I always hear and a couple other ones. Anyway, so I'm trying to relax. I'm going to I'm trying to take a drink of coffee is what I'm doing. You need you do need to control your emotions, but even more, I've noticed that you can't focus on one thing for more than one or seconds then you move on to the next thing. Hashtag #focus. Yes. I do need to focus. I don't know. Some of you guys may not know, know, but I have another screen over here with other charts on it. So I can see when my setup's about to happen. So I keep my eye on this other chart over there. And if I see my setup getting ready to happen, sometimes I'll run over there. Or if it's getting close, if I notice something, and then I'll pull it up on the chart what you guys see. And that, and that's why it looks like I'm jumping around sometimes. Like on GNPX, look at this one. Look at GNPX. But you're right. I do jump around quite a bit because I'm looking for my setups. I'm looking for my trades in the market. Looking for my trades. Look at APT was another good one. APT, sometimes I get there a little bit late. I did see this one. This is kind of the trade I'm looking for on NNVC. Also, it's basically something like that, but I don't trade NNVC, but NNVC, is it going to make it? It does It does have some room. That $10 is right above its head, though. That $10, sometimes that's hard resistance. GILD calls were nice this morning, Stock Hedgehog. What you say, I do opposite. Wilton Ford says, whatever I say, you do opposite. However you can learn from this live stream, the better off, the better you will be. This live stream, I believe, is the, one of the best live streams out there. It's probably the only one that shows you every single thing in the stock market. Day trading, low full, small cap stocks. So if you're day trading, low full, small cap stocks, this is the place for you. And options, maybe in the future I will trade some options also. But right now, day trading low flow small cap stocks, I'm going to make $1 million day trading low flow small cap, basically penny stocks. You will see it here in five years' time. Mark my words. It may be, a, I'm going to say five years, five years straight up and down. One thing I've been really trying to do is stick to my word. Some, I, I always stick to my word, but sometimes I procrastinate. So when procrastinating, I stretch out my word. I need to be right on time. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. Timing is everything, man. Still saying five years after two years, 14 months, 14 months, stock hedgehog, 14 months. I will do it, man. I got it. I got this. I, I'm getting a lot closer. I'm, st I'm starting to step up my share size. You're going to start seeing me step up my share size consistently month after month here pretty quick. Here pretty quick. This is the first month into my journey towards the top. My first, first month right here. I got it. I got this. I got this. You uh, you are procrastinating boondoggler. You are pro <laughs> work of little or no value being done. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Take your bow. Take your bow, Stock Hedgehog. I applaud you for using that uh, vocabulary word. Thank you, man. That means a lot. <laughs> that means a lot. Adhere to your rules. Yes. I need to adhere to my rules for sure. My dollar forty nine call C calls are on TLT. Killed it, killed it. T oh yeah, that's another one. That TLT, TLT also. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, man. That there you go, stock. <laughs> there you go, stock hedgehog. I'll be here. I'll be here. Well, Forbes, congrats. Uh, yes, we are doing this. The monkey army is so strong. The monkey army is so so strong. Man, I can't believe NNVC. And NVC, this is basically a good one. Good, good, good one here. Should I trade this or should I not? 
Should I trade this? I play TLT a lot. Yes, Anthony, I hear you talk about TLT quite often. And that's good. The more familiar you can get with a stock that or with, with something that comes around over and over again, the better off. The better off you are. Some of these low float stocks, believe it or not, come around over and over and over again. They like recycle them. They go up, they go down, they go up, they go down, and you get familiar with each and every one of them. I haven't been taking this trade recently, but it's been working today a lot. It's been working today. No. It's just so close to that $10. The only reason I don't take this right here is because it's so close to $10. I'm going to paper trade it. $9.73. $9.73. I'm getting in. $9.73. $9.73. My risk is right there at $9.54. $9.54 is my hard stop. $54 is my hard stop. $54 is my hard stop right there. 973 53 63 73 20 70 80 90 so my first profit target is like 990 989 989 boom breaking one dollar c o c o c p paul de bolt says c o c p is breaking one dollar it's right up to that 97 that that's a good trade right there that was a beautiful little trade if i did trade a sub dollar stock that's the trade i would have took that trade that would have been my profit target right where it's sitting at right now and i'd probably try to hold on a piece a little bit longer a little little bit longer up uh, whoa 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 953 953 whoa 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 Boom, 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 boom. Not good, not good in the situation. Look at COCP just busted. Look at that, stopped me out right there. Right on the, stopped me out. That is a bad trade. I still try to take that trade ever so often. I should have never took that trade. I should have let it come down. Oh, well, I, I did it. I did it. COCP. COCP is up over a dollar now, so I can trade this one. I will trade this one now, but we're going to see. We will see what's going on. COCP. Man, I can't believe that. I can't believe NNVC. I had high hopes, but that $10 was right above its head, so that was not good. What is going to happen here? What is going to happen? Look at this thing. Look at this thing. A dollar. What is going on with this one? Look at COCP is going up, up, and up, 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 and up. COCP high of day 109. Look at that. Do you buy breakouts? One minute high breakouts. Look at that. 109, that little breakout right there. Look at there's four cents right there. 109 to 113. Four cents right there. Sometimes, man, that, some of those little breakout trades. I have been. Uh, Actually, believe it or not, I've been looking into trading some of these breakouts. Some of these breakouts I may start trading in the future. I, I've been setting up a strategy for these little breakouts. But you have to be so quick. It will be when I go to CMEG if I trade a breakout. That's the only time. Look at this thing. Going into a halt. Halting. 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 Is it going to halt? Halting. Halting. COCP. Look at that. That was such a clean trade back here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Beautiful trade. Man, that was picture, picture perfect. Zona J, good job, man. Zona J, good, good job. 
AMD 50 by end of day. I hope so. Now 113. Bye bye bye. <laughs> Bye bye bye. Look at that. That was such a beautiful, pretty picture. Look at NNVC is right down towards the 945. That ten dollars. That that's one thing I'm marking on my calendar or on my chart. That ten dollar level. I already knew. I know better than that. That's why I took a paper trade. But I. Oh man. I that one really kind of upset me on NNVC. I fell victim, even though it was a paper trade. I fell victim to getting caught up, caught up in the chart when I, I basically FOMO'd. I seen the trade way before the VWAP, but I waited, waited, watched and watched and watched. And then finally FOMO'd, basically paper traded FOMO'd right into it, right into that. Man, that is very, very good learning experience right there. Horrible, 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 horrible. I see OCP. Let, let, let's look at it. Let, let's look at COCP real quick. Boom. COCP. See that gap? I People call this a real gap right there. Let's look at it. COCP. Let's go back to this gap. Look at that gap. The high was 82 cents. And then the low, a dollar nine. Now it's all the way up to whatever it's up to, a dollar thirteen. It's trying to get into that next range up there. That next range. I'm gonna put a, a daily support resistance line right there, a dollar, right at a dollar. What is gonna happen with this one? A dollar ninety-seven. How much? This thing's like on the top. I, I kind of think this is at the top of its range, but who knows? The two, the two hundred is at a dollar forty-nine, dollar fifty, dollar fifty. The two hundred simple moving average is at a dollar fifty, and plus. So it does have room up to a dollar fifty above a dollar fifty. I don't think it's gonna really make it, but who knows? Some of these stocks just keep going. Maybe it will reach three dollars. Maybe it will reach five dollars. Who really knows? Who really knows? But it does have room up to the dollar fifty right there. To me, it has room up to the dollar fifty. Zyxi stock hedgehog says Zyxi, Zyxi. So if it does have room up to the dollar fifty, let me edit that property. Boom, boom, boom. Where would I look to get in? I'm just not sure. Not not sure. Man, it looks so stretched out to me. Even though we'll see how the momentum, you know, with momentum in the stock market, it can keep pushing and pushing and pushing. So who knows what's going to happen? Maybe you can buy the dip, sell the rip, or maybe you can, I'm not real sure what to do on this one. Dow back down, Dow back down. 160 to $2. Oh, Ricardo says 160 to $2. If it gets above 160, 150 160 to two dollars possibly that that sounds good to me that does sound good to me i'm telling you i watch warriors live stream and momentum will be crazy he said 110 coc oh he said 110 so the bust over the dollar the bust over that dollar right there so i wish i would have been watching this one a little bit sooner but there was there was some good action on this this is usually uh, this is usually too low a price for Warrior Trading. You know what I mean from uh, Ross Cameron from Warrior Trading. But who knows? He's a great trader, and if he's trading a stock, maybe there's going to be some room for some money. This is all my opinion, my opinion only. I'm not saying nothing. My my, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I'm just saying this is it looks like a good stock, and Warrior Trading is a great trader, great breakout trader. I'm gonna look for my trades. Small account, ZCMD, halt again. Getting in too late now. Got to get there first, Storm Traders. You're right. Your emotions are so high. Now you're feeling FOMO. I seen it when it was way back here at 85 cents. That's where I would have got in is right there on that hammer candle. Look at that pullback. Boom. Right over from 85 cents to that high right there. The dollar right where the dollar was. Oh, it's open. It's open. It's open. A dollar. Can it get up to a dollar forty nine? A dollar fifty? Whoa! What's going on? Look at that thing.
dollar six man i should have got in when it was down there and you can you have a tight risk on this this is a good like a good low price stock so you have good risk management good risk management you can use a dollar look at that boom oh man i missed that i missed it i should i oh man that was a little good one right there Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, man. This one's good. C-O-C-P, C-O-C-P. Oh, Mr. Nice says Z-C-M-D halted. Look at this thing go. Look at, whoa, what was that rip neck right there at $1.20? Look at this. They are, uh, what's going to happen? Man, it has room up to that $1.50. To me, it has room up to $1.49, $1.50. Maybe over that dollar fifty, dollar sixty to two dollars. But right now, right now, prime time, <laughs> prime time. A lot of profit takers. Look at that. A lot, a lot of profit takers. One eighteen, one twenty one. Man, it's going. It is going. There's good trades right there. Good good little trades right there. If you want to take those, look at it. Boom. Probably going to go into another halt. Probably going into another halt, maybe. Mm-mm-mm. C stock C O C P. Then I'll be even more happy. AMD over 50, and I'll be happy. AMD over 50. Boom, boom, boom. What is going to happen with COCP? COCP. It looks like they're trying to hold this thing down. <laughs> Here it comes. Then I'll be even more happy. AMD over 50. So if I got in, if I get in at a dollar ten, I would use a dollar. A lot of people are going to use that dollar as their risk. It only makes sense right there. Or maybe use a tighter risk of a dollar five, dollar four. What is happening? C O C P. Look at these good trades in the market. Are you brave enough to take them? That's the only thing. Are you brave enough to take them? Monkey set a limit order at 122 COCP. COCP. 122 for that push up to like 138, 148. A little breakout trade. That, that sounds good. That looks good. That does look good right there. What are we going to do? What is happening? I need to take these off again. Man, those things are always squishing on my head now. Let's see what's happening. Let's do this. Let's do this COCP. Oh man, I need to put these back on. GN 499999 AMD. What is going on? Man, I need a drink of water, man. <laughs> I need a drink of water. C O C P. So we're trading. Sorry, sorry for relaxing. Sometimes I've been sick for a long time. I've been sick for like a week, and there's a lot of people sick around my neighborhood, getting the flu and everything. My nose has been running, but today my nose is not running. To the moon. Look at it. It's trying to push. This is like straight FOMO. Straight FOMO. If it washes out, just think of all the sellers gonna wash out. But you can't think like that. Is that your setup? Is it your setup? It looks good right here. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, well. Boom, boom, boom. What is going to happen? Oh, I guess that doesn't. Never mind. That doesn't look right. Never mind. That's on the one minute chart. On the one minute chart, remove drawing. Remove drawing. C O C P. What is going to happen? C-O-C-P. 110 was called out when it was at 85 cents by Ross. Important number. A dollar 10 is a very, very important number. 
Thank you, Paul the Ball. Thank you. Oh, and pre market. In pre market. Called it out probably from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day watch list. Man, COCP, what a good stock. It was, there it goes. Falling down a little bit, falling down. Getting back to 120, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Why is it not? It should have like pushed up, it seems like. Maybe it's going to push up here in a minute, but who knows? Who really knows? Look at NNVC. I bought right at the top up there. But right at the top. Dollar four, dollar five. What is going to happen with COCP? I, my head is hurting again for some reason. My freaking head is hurting again. Eighty nine. You could you could start a position right here. You could try, but th these stocks right around a dollar really get me. Really get me. I'm out. Storm Traders is out. These stocks that sit right at the dollar always get me. They end up coming right on down to like 85 cents. Oh, someone just subscribed to the channel. Joe, Joey, thank you for subscribing to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place. What you're seeing in front of your very eyes is my one-minute chart, five-minute chart, 15-minute chart, level two, time and sales. This is my active trader. So are you going to try to buy this right off the dollar? Right off the dollar, you know where your risk is going to be. Probably 99 cents. How high is it going to go? It probably can get to $1.15 quite easily. You know what I mean? Or would that be your first profit target? I'm just not sure. Jeremy Eakins, thank you for subscribing to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place. So you're seeing from your very eyes. My one-minute chart, five-minute chart, 15-minute chart, level two, time and sales. This is my active trader. Where I buy and sell shares each and every day. Look at that. 1,000, 1,000. People are buying. People are seriously buying right here. People are buying. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got this, man. We are growing each and every day. Look at that. Look at that trade. The only reason I didn't take this trade is because I broke my rule on NNBC. It was right by the $10.00. And the stocks that are right around a dollar, I'm very wary to buy like right by the dollar, even though it looked like a good spot. Every time I buy a stock that's right by a dollar, it ends up coming down to like 80 cents, 85 cents, and just keeps coming down, down, down. But look at that. Look at that little trade right there. Look at that amount of shares at the dollar 10. Yes, at a dollar 10. Look at them. Boom, boom, boom. Look at it. Dollar ten, dollar ten, dollar ten, dollar ten. Look at thousand, thousand, thousands, thousand, dollar ten, dollar ten. A lot of action is going around at the dollar ten area. I think this is the top, though. Yes, it, it kind of seems like the top, but it could get to a dollar fifty. That's the thing, but I'm just not sure. Just not sure. If if I do see a trade AHPI, what's going on with that one? AHPI? No, oh never mind. C E T X. Okay, C O C P. C O C P. C O C P. So it looks like some people would take a little bit of profit if they got in down by the dollar five. You might as well take a little profit up towards that dollar fifteen, dollar fourteen. Or maybe you hold on for the high a day right there, that towards that dollar twenty-one. Here we go to a dollar sixty to two dollars. Ricardo says dollar sixty to two dollars. There's a good good trades in here. Just because I didn't take a trade, there there's some good good trades right there. That dollar trade, even maybe you take this breakout trade up over the dollar twenty-one, up over the dollar twenty-one to the dollar forty, dollar fifty area. This is the trade I sometimes like to take right around this area. Dollar six, dollar six, dollar six. Man, some people trying to stand up on it. I'm out. Three green, one red. Good nightcrawler motion. Great job today. I made 30 bucks today. $30. I've been waiting for my first $20 day. I knew it was coming. I just didn't realize it was going to be today. I just don't want to ruin my $30 day either. Hi, guys. Uh, Shafi. 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 Hey, hi, guys. 
<laughs> good morning. It's good to have you here, man. It's good to have you here. Day trading low flow small cap, basically penny stocks every single day. Every single day. Today's day 35 or day 36 of the Monkey Army March all the way up to $1 million. Mark my words, we are going to $1 million. Some of you guys are great profitable traders already. Some of you guys are learning with me. Some of you guys are taking the opposite end of my trades. And that's all okay. We are learning. That's the important thing in the stock market. Getting profits. Great work, T. Monkey. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good morning, Monkey Trade. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. So many great plays today in the stock market. Truthfully, there are so many great, great plays. Next week, 300. I'm starting, I'm, I'm growing. Every week or every couple weeks, I'm going to uh, start upping my share size. Even if it's 10 shares, a, 10 shares a week, maybe it's 20 shares a week, 50 shares a week. I'm starting to up my share size every couple weeks now. Every couple weeks, I'm going to up it, up it, up it. I can't really up it too much, but I feel like my account is going to start growing also. So it's going to allow me to up my share size too. And then as soon as I, I save $5 each and every day, and as soon as I get to $100, I'm going to have more money in my account. Now my account's getting to the spot where I'll at least be able to make $15 a day, $15 to $20 a day. It's cutting it a little tight right now just because how I trade, how many trades I have to take a day for my, my setups to work out for me. But I'm getting to the point where I'm going to be able to make $15, $20, $30 a day here pretty quickly. Great channel. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. We're killing the market every day. So many people are taking some great trades here. People, are even, even though I don't take some trades, some great people are calling out some great trades in the stock market. Great trades. Even though sometimes I don't read all the words in the chat, sometimes there's people calling out some stocks, saying this, that. There's so much learning to be done here. So, so much learning to be done. Look at this thing. Look at that entry. Oh, man, you guys that took that dollar, I should have I should have just took it and I could have kept a tight, tight risk of 99 cents. Right there, 99 cents. That's what I should have done. I missed it. I missed it. My profit. Would I have sold all my shares already though? Possibly, possibly, but I'm trying to hold on to my winners just a little bit longer each and every day. A little bit longer each and every day. Let's go, let's go. Man, I can't believe the trade on TOCA this morning. Only trade is over 120 now. Storm Trader says only trade is over 120 now. Yeah, there's a little breakout. Look, it's not, here it goes. Or maybe it's going to go. Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade, trade your own plan, plan your own trade. There it goes. Boom. Man, I can't believe I missed that. I can't believe I'm missing these great trades in here. Great, great trades. Great money in the stock market. Told you, monkey, to put an order above 120. I know, Ricardo. I know you did. I know you did. I could have done that. I still could get in right here. I still could get in. Let, let's see. Man. It looks like so many buyers in here. There's a lot of momentum in this thing. A lot, a lot of momentum. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Another good trade. Look at that little pullback there to that 119. Why am I not taking these trades? I made 30 bucks today. Why push my luck? But when you see a setup, you need to continue to take your trades. You can't be scared to lose your profit. Until you start losing a little bit of profit, you might as well keep on trading. You might as well keep it going each and all the all the way up. All the way up. Man, H A H P I A H what's going on? I, I'm getting back over there. I just want to see what's going on. Oh man, A H P I. I knew it. I knew that one was doing it too. A-H-P-I. -I. 
What shit? Uh, Dairy, uh, Danny Berenger, on a stock between one and two dollars, I will buy 100 shares. 100 shares on a stock that's between one and two dollars. One and two dollars. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place. What you're seeing from your very eyes is my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two, time and sales is my active trader, where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Get yourself an egg timer. Set a limit to hold or buy. Might help push you through the fears. Yes, I know. I, I was very fearful. I, I seen two setups on this. I see one of my setups was right here around this dollar, about dollar five. I probably would have got in. My next trade was after it pushed through this high, that little pullback right there into the 118. And it went all the way to 132. Good, good, a couple good little trades right there. The only reason this trade was good is because it creeped. It creeped on up there and I liked it. And I liked it right there, man. Those were the two trades I seen for myself in this stock. Look at this. Going all the way up to 150. All the way up to 150. Look at it. Now I feel like I'm just getting FOMO if I'm going to take the trade. It has room, remember, all the way up to 150. The 200 simple moving averages up there on the daily chart. And plus there's some resistance, I believe, by the 150, by the 150 up there. Or no, 147, 150. The egg timer is a good trader. Man, I, I, I got some good chickens the other day. Our neighbor gave us some chickens, a rooster, and we got two chickens, a black chicken and, or two black chickens and a rooster, <laughs> and a rooster. That to make up for those other chickens we lost, remember? Big Booty Raccoon had ate our other chickens, or, or a couple of our chickens, two of our other chickens. Our bravest chickens on the block, man. <laughs> our bravest chickens. Do not trade now. Well, Forbes, I'm not going to trade, even though it does have room up to that dollar fifty. does have room up to the $1.50. I'm not going to take this trade right here. There is another trade right here where it sits, a dollar thirty, a dollar twenty nine, dollar thirty, dollar thirty. Pot pot time. Don't get in now. You missed it. Yes, I missed two beautiful entries. Two beautiful entries. This this entry right here. I I think this is another entry by that dollar twenty nine where it was or a dollar thirty. But this entry is a low, low probability setup. But it does have room up to the dollar fifty up there. It does have room. It does have room, but who who knows what's gonna happen? Who really knows? I'm pro you guys probably are not going to look at AHPI is still pushing AHPI. Look at this thing, AHPI. I need to put this up on a chart, AHPI. Boom, 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 AHPI, $1.27, $1.27 right there. AHPI is all the way up to 348 now, 348, 348. CTEX, my cell, 185, hit. 184 good job that's perfect that is perfect 185 oh it hit 184 but your cell was 185 i'm not real sure it could make it up there it maybe it will make it up there it yeah 184 was that high right there 184 sometimes you put your uh profit target just one cent too high I have done that before, but usually I sell so early, so, so early in the stock market. Kind of like QCOM for longer term, Anthony says, going back. Yep. Yeah, I'm probably not going to take no more trades today because my head is hurting again. You believe that? My head's been hurting nonstop. No, non-stop. I cannot, I don't know what's going on. And I heard last night around here that people been having the same flu like me with a runny nose, a horrible headache, and things like that. And having a headache, I just cannot handle headaches too much. I don't take aspirin. I don't take no medicine. So I try to ride right through my headaches all the time. Right on through. 
Uh, oh, maybe it's out. Al Wilton Forbes, maybe it is allergies. Maybe it is is allergies. I don't know, but my head has been killing me big time, killing me. It's Wuhan. <laughs> it's Wuhan. <laughs> maybe I have the coronavirus. Who knows? Maybe I have the coronavirus. So let's see what's going to happen here. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. We will see what happens. C-O-R-V. What's that one doing? C-O-R-V. Look at C-O-R-V. Another sub-dollar stock. C-O-R-V. I've actually traded this in the past. C-O-R-V. There's uh, A-H-P-I. A-H-P-I. C-O-C-P. C-O-C-P. I'm curious to see if this is going to make it to the 150. If this thing did make it to the 150, I would short sell right there at the 150. Here we go. Man, I should have took that trade. 130. Let's see if it reaches my profit target. My first profit target on this trade would be about 140. 140, 143, maybe 143 right there. SDGR, new high, COCP, 105 to 127, Zona J. 105 to one, that is a killer, Zona J, that's how you hold on to a trade. That is how you do it. That is perfect. That was the most perfect, beautiful, nice trade right there. Perfect, beautiful, nice trade. Beautiful, great trade. That that's how you hold on to a winner. That's what I'm trying to do for the rest of this week. I'm gonna focus on holding on to my winners and trading with larger share size. Trading with larger share size. Look at this. Man, that was a I I guess I should have took that trade. I would have probably got in at a dollar thirty. At a dollar thirty, and my first profit target would be a dollar forty, dollar forty-two, dollar forty-three. You could benefit from a good stream; might help clear the sinuses. A good steam, maybe that's what I need. Look at that! I should have took that trade, even though this was like basically a C minus setup for me. When a stock has momentum, there's no telling how high it's going to do. APT is doing a washout. You may be able to get in if you're quick enough for APT for a washout for a quick pop. APT is a washout for a quick pop. I'm not taking that trade either. APT, look at that. No trade small and hold longer your positions. Use brackets. Yes, I, I'm i going to use larger share size. Even though I'm using larger share size, it's actually st still pretty small share size. Still, It's still pretty small. Well, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. AMD. It's going to try to 50 again before the end of day. No problems on the J. That, that was a beautiful, that was a great, beautiful trade. Great, great, beautiful trade, man. Day trading the stock market. You believe that? You believe we are trading the stock market. We are doing a career which couldn't be done probably like 20, 30 years ago. This would never be possible. But in today's day and age, just great. Anybody can trade the stock market. There's so much money to be made. Where else in the world can you learn something? Maybe it takes you five years time, but at the end of those five years, if you could earn $2,000 a day, would you do it? That is the power of the stock market. That's what we are doing here. That is definitely what we are doing here. Looks like CETX may get to your profit target. CETX may get to your profit target there. Yes, I believe it. Yes, I believe it. Stock catch on. Yes, yes, yes. So anyways, I'm going to stay to the st uh, stock market until 1130. I'm getting out of here at 1130 today because my head hurts again. I'm very, very sorry. I'm trying to clean up. I may actually go to the doctor and see if they can give me something or tell me what's wrong with me. Tell me what's wrong with me, ma'am. My head has been just killing, killing, killing me. Oh, look at APT just kept washing out. It's right down by the, so to me, it's right down by a support level at 625, 630 level. 
630, 627, holding rest, uh, COPD. COCP, COCP is still going. 150, that's where I would start short selling is probably right around the 150s. The 150s, look at COCP if you guys are trading that. That is such a good one. Anyways, I'm, I'm just going to take a paper trade. I'm not taking a real trade. I'm getting in at 632. My profit target is 646. 632, 632. Six thirty two, We'll see. We'll see what happens. Look at COCP is a great stock with a, a little. A, a, COCP is like the top stock right now. Top top stock. Holding rest for a dollar sixty. Second stop at a dollar. Ricardo Zapata. That is such a great trade right there. Way to hold on to your trades for a while. Way to hold on. 632, 632, 646 is my profit target, 646. Now my stop, where is my stop going to be? My stop is going to be 622. 622 is my stop, 622. SQ could be nice, SQ could be nice. Yes, look Look at COCP is all the way up to $1.43. I should be over there watching that right now. AHPI did a washout right down to the $3, so we'd have to see what's going on there. You need a little VIX across the lips. Clear that right up. <laughs> VIX across the lips. <clears throat> yes, my freaking head, ma'am. I, I need to relax for a minute. That's what I need to do, relax. GNPX is pushing a little bit. GNPX. Look at COCP. So I'm going to get out of here. But anyways, there was a little trade right here on this. It does have room up to the 650s. The 650s right there. But look at this. 636. 636. COCP is all the way up to $1.48 right there. $1.48. <clears throat> RN on shop. RN on shop. Uh, Anthony says... Bum, bum, bum. 642, 646, 646 is my profit target. 646 is my profit target. 642, 642. 643. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. 645, there's my profit target. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, good little trade right there. Good little trade. I'm gonna go over to COCP now. COCP, boom, boom, boom. I would have took that trade, but my head is killing me. And plus I made 30 bucks today, so what am I doing? Why pay, be, Cody grows, because my head is killing me. My head is killing me today. I'm trying to make it to 1130 to hang out with you guys, but I may have to leave here in a couple minutes. Actually, my head, man, my head is on fire. My head is on fire. So that's why I took that as a paper trade. What is happening? <clears throat> I 
Do you have to tell your boss you are calling out? Yeah, I mean, I don't have to, I have to tell my partners. Yes, I definitely have to tell my partners. As a naturalist, no drugs. You got to do what you can. Yes. I may take another aspirin today, tell you the truth. Stop at 140 COCP. Ricardo Zapata, you called out your trade, just walked it right on through. Look at APT if you're still holding on to that trade. Look at it. Look at it now, all the way up to 650s. Look at that. Look at that. You could have sold half of your shares, half of your shares for plus 16 cents right there. Or plus 14 cents right there. And now look. Boom, boom, boom. What a good trade. Nice going. Jim Matterhorn. Good job. Good, good job. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, guys. I have to get out of here. Anthony, a Anthony, there always are, <laughs> lol. Shop options so expensive, Anthony. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I think COCP, this would be a short sell for me now. But anyways, I have to get out of here for the day. I have a headache. I got to be ready to go in the morning, trade in the stock market. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you for understanding that I'm a little bit under the weather right now. But um. I'll definitely be here tomorrow, same time, not from 9 a.m. till noon, every single day. Sarah, and take care. Yes, I'm trying to take care, guys. Have a great day, guys. It was great hanging out with you. I'm getting out of here in about five seconds, and I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early, 9 a.m. till noon. Thank you, the Monkey Army March, all the way to the top. Ibuprofen is for swelling. Aspirin is for fever. Thank you, Roland B. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm out of here in five, four, three, two, one. I'll see you guys.